When you first log into ChatGPT, it can sometimes be really overwhelming. So I want you to think about ChatGPT like your new employee, your first intern. Think about somebody who just came to your organization and they know nothing about your company. They know nothing about how you run things. That is what ChatGPT can be for you, your first intern or your first employee. So you can do this in a couple of ways. When you create a new topic in ChatGPT, you have the opportunity to create employees so that ChatGPT can learn your style, learn how you speak, learn your tone, and basically learn how you like to present videos. You'll notice that I have a bunch of different topics here and I have arranged them by categories, not necessarily by employees, but each of these topics are going to be basically its own folder of information. So I have a topic here just for my UGC concepts, some of my Etsy listings, a pop-up workshop, my digital products, so that every time I ask it something or I prompt it, it already the information from the very beginning of that conversation or of that topic. Another way you can use ChatGPT is to give it titles. So you are going to act as my marketing director and help me come up with concept ideas for UGC. Ask me what information you need from me in order to complete this task accurately. Speak to it as if it's an employee and then tell it to ask you back what it needs to know or what he needs to know in order for him to complete his job correctly. Once we press enter, you'll notice that you'll have a new topic here and it will usually just put what you asked in the very top. You can also click on the three dots, rename it, and we're gonna call this our marketing director. So each of your topics can be a different employee, can be a different folder of ideas, different projects, different customers. It could be anything you need right here. And if you name it in a way that you can talk to it accurately and prompt it accurately, you're gonna get better results. So let's see here what ChatGPT says or what our marketing director says. To generate effective UGC concepts, I'll need some information about your business, target audience, marketing goals, and any specific themes. So basically it's asking us what the creative brief is for our client. Now, remember we had that phone case example that we did for the storyboard? Let's go ahead and continue using that idea. So here's how I'll start to prompt it. We're going to say, draft me a 30 second UGC video concept for a phone case that has superior protection, multiple options to choose from, and appeals to a younger audience. So we're gonna tell it how long we need this video for, the style of video that we need, which is a UGC video concept, the product, and a couple of features that the client gave to us. Let's see what it comes up with. Wonderful. So now we have a couple of ideas that we can work with. Let's go back and read what it says here. Opening shot, upbeat music starts playing as the video opens with a trendy, diverse group of friends hanging out. Immediately, I'm gonna say that we can't do that because we're the only ones that are going to be in this video. So before we even continue, we're going to say, modify the concept to only include myself and no other actors. And here we go. Now we're gonna go back. Upbeat music starts playing as the video opens with you confidently showing your phone. Hey there, tech trendsetters. It's time to elevate your phone game with something as unique as you are. Zoom in on your phone as it slips into a sleek and stylish Guardian X case. So ChatGPT just came up with the name of the product, which of course we can tell it that it's going to be something else. And then it's going to introduce it a little bit more, but let's say we want something a little bit more casual, or even maybe we don't want to be on camera doing a talking head video. Maybe we can say we only want voiceover and B-roll clips, so let's change it. Modify the concept to only have voiceover and B-roll shots. So now let's look at what it came up with. Upbeat, upbeat music starts playing as the video opens with the close-up phone case. Introducing Guardian X, the ultimate fusion of style and protection for your phone. Shots of different case designs being held and showcased. 
So you can use this in multiple ways. We can keep modifying it for it to give us a complete concept from start to finish. But how I use ChatGPT is just to give me some ideas and then I'll take it from there. So you can gather some ideas from here or you can continue to modify it to meet what your vision is. The other way we could use ChatGPT in this exact for this example is to say generate five unique hook ideas that will captivate audiences on TikTok. And of course I can't spell captivate. Is that right? Okay. And now let's see what it says. Start a trend. Here you go. Now you have multiple ideas of what you could do to create unique and highly engaging concepts. This is great information here to just ask it to generate five unique, you know, to ask it to generate five unique hook ideas, tell it which platform it's going to be on and what you want it to do. So either captivate audiences or push audiences to buy, push audiences to like, follow, purchase, download, you get the idea. You can ask it to give you so many different ideas. Now, a lot of us have trouble with B-roll clips. What other areas or, or scenes can we create to really showcase this product? So let's have ChatGPT give us that. So generate 10 B-roll scenes that I can record in my home and car to showcase the features of the phone case, but also how it can be used. Let's see what it comes up with. Here we go. Start with a visually appealing shot of the phone case on a table, emphasizing its design and colors. Demonstrate how easy it is to install. Film a slow motion drop of the phone onto a surface to highlight the case's protective features. Now let's say we really like this one and we want number three to maybe, let's have him come up with similar ideas like this one four more times. So generate four more ideas like option three of the slow motion drop. And now we have more ideas that we could use for this particular topic. And we could even ask it to go further and say, give me more ideas for number two, generate more B roll scenes based on number two. And here we go. So you could really get ChatGPT to give you more and more info. And if we wanted to, if I knew more about this product, I would type more in. I may even put the company's website into ChatGPT and tell it to go browse its website, get more information about the company and generate better ideas that are specific to that company. And now we wanna create a new concept based on number three. So create a new 30 second video concept based on number month three. And here we go. Now, if we have to adjust this one again, go ahead and do that. Let's say we're now ready to put this into our storyboard. So we're gonna open up our storyboard template. Again, what are we gonna do? We're gonna immediately go to file and make a copy. And we're just gonna name this one test for now. Now that we have that, you go ahead and fill in all of this information. But when you go into ChatGPT, I don't want you to just copy and paste, leave out the italicized fonts. We don't want it to look like we copied and pasted from ChatGPT. So go ahead and write in the script here as a voiceover. And you see how the text is a different color? Match the colors. So you're gonna delete all of that. You're gonna start over and you're going to right click paste without formatting. And now the format matches the rest of the document. Let's say we're gonna take our B-roll scene, we're gonna right click or Command C, Control C, again, paste without formatting and put that here and adjust this so that it looks humanized and it does not look like we copied and pasted from ChatGPT. And that is just a little tiny taste of how you can use ChatGPT to help you storyboard concepts, come up with B-roll shots, come up with hooks, come up with CTAs, whatever you need it to do, it can do it for you. And if you tell it to ask you the questions, it will ask you very particular questions that are gonna help you come up with a finished product. I hope this helped.